past 100 years, diabetes care has advanced significantly. And it all started in 1921 when a team of researchers in Toronto made a life-saving discovery. For the first time, they were able to show that the molecule insulin could lower blood sugar levels in dogs with diabetes. They began by saving the life of one young boy. But by 1923, insulin was in production globally, and researchers were busy discovering new ways to refine the formulation, minimize the dosing frequency, and decrease the burden of treatment. Until this point, diabetes had been a death sentence. But with insulin, the average life expectancy of a person diagnosed with diabetes improved dramatically. As we began to understand more about diabetes, it became clear that there are several types, and that type 2 diabetes is the most prevalent form. The incidence was growing, and the race was on to develop new treatments and approaches to care. New technologies, like the portable glucose meter, eventually made it easier for people to monitor their condition. And the discovery of HbA1c enabled physicians to better assess blood sugar management and evaluate the impact of lifestyle changes and medication on long-term health outcomes. The 1980s saw the development of human insulin, which was highly purified and could be produced in unlimited quantities, as well as the launch of the first insulin pumps and insulin pens, which improved quality of life and gave people a discreet and precise means of self-administering the right dose of insulin when needed. Before long, insulin analogues were developed to more closely mimic the body's natural pattern of releasing insulin. And treatment options expanded for people with type 2 diabetes, with medicines like GLP-1 analogues, which went beyond blood sugar control to also regulate appetite and food intake. In recent years, a new generation of insulins arrived to reduce the daily burden of care by offering even greater flexibility and by helping people avoid low blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of weight gain. Today, people with diabetes have more treatment options than ever, including GLP-1 in a tablet and digital health initiatives that include smart insulin pens and continuous glucose monitoring devices, which are making it easier for people to manage their treatment and their blood sugar levels. So what's next? Future innovations include the potential for a once-weekly basal insulin, glucose-sensitive and cardioprotective insulin, new digital health solutions, transformational stem cell therapies, and even the hope for a curative treatment one day. At Novo Nordisk, we are committed to addressing the challenges of diabetes as we continue to drive change in the next 100 years.